Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside this, this square are lines that intersect perpendicularly. And these two lines also intersect a side of the square and with the same distance from the vertex to the side of the square. Okay. So first thing that we need to do is we need to draw a line from this segment, continue this with the same inclination and a perpendicular line from this point to that point and until they intersect and we actually form a right triangle and an angle. And also, same with this, we need to draw a horizontal line and we can need to continue this line until they intersect. And we again form a right triangle and this angle. So since this angle, if we call this as theta, and we can say that this is also theta because we just rotated these lines perpendicularly. This is a 90 degree angle. So the angle should be the same. And we can also say that these two right triangles are congruent because of angle, side angle, congruence theorem. Because we have two angles that are congruent and this in between these two angles are a is a congruent length. So these two right triangles, we can say that this is they are congruent. So if we label this as x, then this should be x also. And if we label this as y, then this should be y also, since they are congruent. This is I already highlighted these two triangles that we are going to use and these triangles these two triangles are also derived from the two smaller triangles that we concluded that they are actually congruent so since they are similar then this angle should be the same if this is alpha then this should be also alpha and uh, we are to use the opposite side over the adjacent. So for the green, the opposite to alpha is 11 and the adjacent is x plus 10. And for the red triangle, the opposite is 10 and the adjacent is x plus 6. So we have to cross multiply 11 times x plus 6 is equal to 10 times x plus 10. So we have 11x plus 66 is equal to 10x plus 100. So if we subtract 10x on both sides to cancel out this, and we subtract also this negative 66 on the right, left hand side. And we need to subtract also from this negative 66. So we have 11 minus 10 is equal to x. And 100 minus 66 is equal to 34. So we have the value of x to be 34 units. Okay. So next is we need to find the value of this length. This is actually the hypotenuse of the green square. And since x is equal to 34, and this distance is equal to 10, then one leg is actually 44. And the hypotenuse is unknown. Let us call that as z. And this other leg is 11. So we have z 
is equal to the square root of 44 square plus 11 square. And z is equal to, we can actually make this 44 as 4 times 11. 11, but you need to square that plus 11 square. And we can actually make that as 4 square times 11 square plus 11 square square equal to z. So we can actually factor out this 11 square and that will be 11 square times the square, uh, I mean 4 square plus 1. So we can simply take the square root of this by getting the square root of 11 square, so that is equal to 11 plus the square root of this value inside, and that is 17. So z is equal to 11 square root of 17. So next is we can now find the value of y. So for the value of y, we will use the green right triangle and this smaller right triangle. So we will be saying that y over 34 is equal to 44 over 11 square of 17 and that is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse i use that proportion and if we simplify this we have 44 divided by 11 is equal to 4 then y is equal to 4 times 34 over square root of 17. But 34 can be written as 2 times 17 times or 2 times 17. But 17 can be written as the square root of 17 square over the square root of 17 so this cancels out so we have y is equal to 8 square root of 17 okay so next is we need to now find the side of the square and since we need the side of the square then i highlighted a larger right triangle which is also similar to the triangle the smaller right triangle on the top is actually a right triangle also. And we will be using the, again, the adjacent side to the angle alpha over the hypotenuse. So we have, if we let this side to be S, then S plus Y all over the hypotenuse which is 34 plus 10 which is 44 plus 7 and that would be 51 this is the hypotenuse for the largest right triangle the orange so next is equal to y all over its hypotenuse which is 34 and actually, y is 8 square root of 17. So s plus 8 square root of 17 over 51 is equal to 8 square root of 17 over 34. Okay. And by cross multiplying, we can say that this is 51 times 8 square root of 17 over 34. But you need to answer this by, I mean, divide this by 17. This would be 3 
and this will be 2. And this is s plus 8 square to 17. And this will become 24 over 2. And that is 12 square to 17. Square to 17. S plus 8 square to 17. So if we transpose this 8 square to 17 to the right hand side, we have 12 minus 8. And that would be S is equal to 4 square root of 17 units. Okay. So for the final step is we are now ready to find the area of this square. So area is simply the square of the side S. And area is equal to S square. And S is equal to 4 square root of 17. And if we square that, we have area is equal to 16 times the square root of 17 square is 17. And we have area to be 272 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. and. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.